Hey guys, welcome back to Creeps Corner. So it was gone last week, for the July weekend, I was going to do a Creeps Corner, but just couldn't really think of what to talk about last week. Um, and I was just kind of surrounded by family and stuff, and you know, sometimes feeling awkward around folks is not as easy as it may seem. Anyway, today's corner is coming from the ladies' restroom at my place of employment downstairs, and uh, the lights kind of flicker over here in the corner. It's kind of creepy. Kind of reminds me of like a horror movie or something weird like that, so. It's very random. We'll see if it even happens. Anyway, today's topic, I decided to talk about my fascination with death. Um, now, as a teenager, I would look up pictures of dead bodies online. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. People being run over by trains, bodies being left in bathtubs and kind of decomposing dismemberments, self-inflicted gunshot wounds. I found myself, I think, maybe becoming a little bit desensitized. Um, ooh, there's the creepy flashy light. <laughs> okay, so I haven't actually looked up pictures of dead bodies in a really long time, but um, it just fascinated me to look at these different scenes and to kind of imagine you know, who this person was and what had happened to them and, um, you know, a lot of these were kind of like either accidental deaths or um, self-inflicted, that sort of thing. And, you know, just kind of think of what that person was thinking before they decided to do this to themselves or what they were trying to do that kind of got them in this weird situation. I mean, I remember looking at pictures of, I don't know, there's this one site that had pictures of people who had like fallen off things and impaled themselves. Um, so those were kind of interesting. I think the ones that were probably the most disturbing to me because I felt like they were the most potentially relatable were car accident scenes. Um, those ones were ones that I think I felt the most disturbed by just because you know, you're in a car pretty much every day. So as much as it freaks people out to be involved in a plane crash, your chances of being involved in a car accident are extremely high. And, you know, the potential injury or death involved in car accidents um, is, you know, somewhat disturbing. And I think just uh, the images of those particularly, or um, even being somewhat curious to go out and say ambulance chase and, check out car accident scenes um you know they were still interesting to me but were also probably on the higher end of my disturbed images list just because these were things that could potentially happen to myself um and to think about that happening was kind of a little bit mm, i don't know just kind of creepy, I guess. A little bit disturbing. Yeah, I think eventually I became slightly desensitized to the point where it didn't uh, bother me to look at these kind of gruesome images. Um, so I think I had kind of decided like, you know, maybe it's not the best idea to look at this sort of thing. Um, as I've gotten a little bit older, I've kind of become a little bit more interested in not just viewing the images, but to kind of get to more of the backstory. Um, I have like a fascination with serial killers and that sort of thing, so that's topic for another Creeps Corner. But, um, you know, if there's certain books that I have that actually have images in them, um, they don't bother me necessarily as much, but I don't like seek them out like I used to. So, uh, that's kind of my uh, weird factoid of the day um, for Creeps Corner and wanted to put it out to you guys to find out if there's anything kind of weird or strange that you might have done as a teenager, uh, things you might have been interested in or were curious about or whatever. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. I, as always, love to talk with you guys and kind of chat on different subjects and topics. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for future Creeps Corners, 
feel free to let me know. I'm pretty much open to whatever. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.